Alright, it's the question I was asked. I wasn't gonna answer the question, but I thought I'd make a video, funny video about it, I guess. Somebody asked me, what's the, what are the benefits of karate after the video that I made of why I promote Kung Fu? Um, the benefits of karate, there are none. <laughs> Alright, so, no, I mean, I don't wanna, you know, I'm just playing around, but I mean, I, I think, to me, if we take out, cause I don't want to get people upset because a lot of people practice karate and um, they love the Japanese martial arts, but it's just not my thing. But if you just look at it from a standpoint of business, then it's like, you know, we, I had this conversation with my students, we're joking around and they're like arguing about what's better, PS3 or Xbox One. You know, or is it PS4? PS4, or Xbox One. They're like arguing back and forth, and you know, then we, you know, sometimes they they playfully argue about what's better, like the Apple iPhone or the Samsung Galaxy, and it's just like matter of preference, you know, um, like cars, same thing. Like people will be like, well, I like this brand. Other people, are like, I like that brand. I mean, personally. I'm gonna have my preference of what brands that I like. Like for me, an affordable brand that I like, you know, I like BMW. You know, I like BMW more than I do like Mercedes. I just like the body style and things like that, the way the car runs. I'm not into, I'm not really into American made cars. Um, I'm just not. There are some nice looking ones though, maybe like the Mustang and the Camaro, but. I still prefer like the BMW. A um, lot of people they like Japanese cars. You know they make good cars. You know, you know like Toyota, Infiniti, Nissan. Um, you know there's there's good quality. A lot of, you know Honda. There's a, you know Acura. There's a lot of good quality cars coming out of Japan. I mean I definitely give Japan um, major props for the type of cars, the quality that they're coming out with. Um, I like also like the Tesla, the way it looks and, and how it saves gas and everything. I guess that that is an American made car, so I guess I can't say that I don't like all American made cars. But when you compare cars, it's going to be more, less emotion involved and people won't take it so personal. But when you comment about like, oh, I don't like this martial arts style. People take it to heart, you know, they take it emotionally and they get upset, you know, and um, I've dealt with that in the past and I don't want to rehash all that. Um, I think that people take it as, as deep as they take religion and um, I don't think it has to be that way. I think we can look at it from more of a, a standpoint of just matter of preference opposed to just kind of like disrespecting people's religions or culture or you know style of martial arts so um, I prefer you know clearly the Chinese martial arts I mean I'm Chinese I mean I gotta I gotta promote my own if I don't promote my own then, own, then who will you know the Japanese aren't gonna promote the Chinese martial arts the Thai, the Thai people ain't gonna promote the Chinese martial arts the Filipino people aren't gonna promote the Chinese martial arts and then the black the blacks and the whites, it's up to them. They're not, a f they're not, they're not, they don't have roots into any culture from the East. So they're the ones that the, you know, that these martial art styles and cultures, they're trying to recruit the blacks and the whites to get on their team. Blacks, white, and Hispanics, they want, we want you to, to help us promote our culture in your culture. So it's like the Japanese, the Chinese, the Filipinos, the Thai, all fighting for the respect of the whites, blacks, and Hispanics to represent their martial art culture, you know. And then the whites could be like, well, I don't want to represent martial arts. I want to represent MMA or I want to represent boxing or kickboxing. They want to represent sports. But then there's going to be some, you know blacks, whites, or Hispanics to be like, no, I want to represent a martial art, and they have to choose which one that they want to help promote and represent, you know, so I'm not going to be promoting Japanese martial arts, no matter it be um, karate, 
no matter it be jujitsu, no matter it be Aikido or Judo or any of that stuff. I'm not going to promote none of it because I, I got to I gotta stay loyal to my, my own, my own people and what, what I want to promote. I got to be more, I got to be more focused with my, with my direction. You know, like I understand the idea of, hey, you know, um, promoting everything but it's like you can't run a business like that you can't be like oh you know i'm gonna open a restaurant and i'm gonna sell all foods from all over the world you can't you know what i mean you just can't i mean everybody's gonna have their focus you know and even they got some asian restaurants they call it pan asian where it's like a mixture of like japanese thai and chinese i mean they're all similar but even the pan asian restaurant is still gonna have their focus it's just more maybe it's hidden from the, the public but their focus is probably the Chinese, and then they just sell a little bit of the Japanese and a little bit of the Thai, and then they just call it Pan Asian. But really, um, like some of us might truly be a mixture of all the cultures, like my wife, or m more of the cultures. I mean, we can't all say that we're all races, you know. In a way, if we eliminate and abolish all races then we are one race, the human race. But people don't look at it like that. They'll be like, well, you know, what country are you from? And then people will be like, well, I'm from Canada. Other people will be like, I'm from Mexico. Other people will be like, I'm from U.S. Other people will be like, well, I'm from Africa. Other people say, I'm from China. I mean, you cannot be born at 50 different countries at the same time. You just can't. You can only be born at one country at a time. And then when it comes down to it, your parents can only be born at one country at a time. You know, so there are some people that are half black, half white. I just don't happen to be one of those people. Um, there are some people that, that might be a mixture of different races. So my wife, she, she claims um, Thai, Vietnamese, and Chinese. But for me, I'm straight Chinese. You know what I mean? Like my parents are from China from Hong Kong and from my history that's where I'm from and you look at the way I look I don't look black I don't look white I don't look African I look like a Chinese person and that's where my parents come from and that's what I'm be promoting you know if I was born Japanese then it'd be different but I'm not I'm born Chinese and um, I ended up being born you know um, you know, being born in America, so I'm pretty much like naturally an integration of America and China, so East and West. Now, when it comes to, you know, the benefits of karate, I mean, I'm not going to promote karate. I just won't. I mean, I mean, I'd say the benefits are because they're doing things the wrong way, then people will s search for the right way to do things. You know, they'd be like, well, karate is this way. What makes Kung Fu different? Well, this is what makes Kung Fu different. And, and because karate serves as a, as a contrast, then it gets people to, to better understand why Kung Fu is better. You know, I mean, like in my opinion, like I know people are going to be upset, but you don't have to be. It's like, like, what's the benefits of like a... A Ford Focus compared to BMW like um, 7 Series. Well, the Ford Focus, what's the benefit? Maybe it's cheap, it's cheaper, right? But you get what you pay for. The BMW is like the Chinese martial arts, Ford Focus is like karate. Well, if that's what you want, you go ahead and drive the Ford Focus. Um, what's the benefit? Well, from the, the, the lack of quality in the Ford Focus will highlight the qualities of the BMW. Ford Focus is slower. You know, the Ford Focus has less room inside. Ford Focus doesn't have leather seats. Ford Focus has no, um, no navigation system, no Bluetooth system. Um, Ford Focus doesn't look good, doesn't look sporty. Um, Ford Focus breaks down on you. I mean, I could just go on the list and list, and this is pretty much how I view karate. There's just so much wrong with it 
that it's gonna it's gonna basically create once you get exposed to that it's gonna create the desire within to want to find something better and that's where Kung Fu comes in when you see somebody like a Chuck Norris representing karate and then you see like somebody like a Bruce Lee representing Kung Fu you see the difference like man like I don't want nothing to do with Chuck Norris I wanna I wanna be like Bruce Lee and that's right there is right before your eyes the difference Bruce Lee representing Kung Fu Chuck Norris representing karate you know because that's what he was claiming and you see the difference and what's the benefit of karate well the benefit of karate is because they are not good at what they do then the people that are good at what they do will highlight their flaws so basically the benefit of karate is like having a, a person to, to test your techniques with to demonstrate your techniques with to show how much better your techniques are than that you know like when you saw the fight between Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee you know what's the benefit of Chuck Norris style the fact that he was there to get beat up on at you know to serve as a demo to show how effective Kung Fu is you know so I mean like I said you know people could get all emotional but there's no need to it's just me you know talking about how I might like you know this cell phone this Android phone compared to this other phone you know but I wouldn't put karate I mean I have a um uh, Android. I mean, I got a Samsung, but I wouldn't put karate, you know, at the level of I iPhone. I mean, iPhone's a really good phone. You know, it's just the only thing I don't like about the iPhone is the chargers. But iPhone is an amazing phone, and the Samsung is an amazing phone. The Samsung Galaxy is an amazing phone, too. I wouldn't put karate at the level of iPhone to compare. I mean, I'll put karate at the level of, like, like a really low-level phone out there. You know, people that Nextel or something like that. People that don't even use it anymore. Um, that's the level that I put karate at. But, I mean, it's not that I have hate for the Japanese. It's just that I just don't like karate at all. I don't like jujitsu either. I don't like none of that stuff coming out of Japan. You know, I don't have hate for Japan. I just don't like their mar martial art ways at all. None of them. You know, I mean, I like the, the philosophy of what Aikido is supposed to be, like the art of peace, but I don't like the way that they express it. I don't. I'm not into the judo. I'm not into Aikido. I'm not into karate. I'm not into jiu-jitsu. I'm not into that ground fight. I'm not, not into none of that. But um, what I do like about Japan, like I give them props. I give them props for the cars that they make. They make some amazing cars. But I still prefer the German cars over... Um, the Japanese cars. Japanese cars might last pretty long, but the German cars, specifically the like the BMW and the Mercedes, the quality of it is just phenomenal. Um, it's more about higher quality for the German cars, and then for the Japanese, is more about like fuel efficiency, cost efficiency, combined with drivability, right? Um, I give Japan credit for that. As far as Japanese food. I'm not really that into it, but some of it I'm into. Like, I love the Japanese fried rice. I actually like the Japanese fried rice more than I do the Chinese fried rice. Um, but the other Japanese food, I'm not really that into. The sushi, I'm not that into. So, like, it's just a matter of preference. And I just happen to really like my own culture by nature. Even though I'm not, even if I, if, you know, people might accuse me of being biased because, oh, you're Chinese, so you're only promoting the Chinese. I mean, it's not necessarily the case because Wing Chun and what it's representing, I'm not, you know, I'm not necessarily down for Wing Chun. I'm not necessarily down for, you know, praying mantis just because it's Chinese. I mean, Bruce Lee, you know, I agree with Bruce Lee, like Wing Chun, there's a lot of flaws, it needs to be improved, I mean it needs to upgrade, that's pretty much what it needs, Bruce Lee came in, like you know what, this Wing Chun stuff is outdated, I need to upgrade this to something more practical, more efficient, more modern, you know, the upgrade, you know, it's like, it's like, 
Winchell is like a revolver, and then Bruce is like, no, we're going to get rid of this revolver, we're going to come in there, we're going to create the Glock. You know, because it's going to be a lot more efficient, a lot more better, and this is, this is what really works. And that's pretty much what I'm talking about. Like, a lot of the Chinese, a lot of the martial arts in general, all over, it's, it, they need upgrades. So the upgrade to Wing Chun becomes Jeet Kune Do, right? Upgrade to Jeet Kune Do be, be, becomes my expression. Upgrading, just keep upgrading, you know? Like, that's what's needed. You know, so it's not really about, oh, you know, J all Chinese stuff is always all better than Japanese stuff. But I'm telling you, as a whole, the Chinese martial arts as a whole is a lot better than the Japanese martial arts as a whole. Because the Chinese martial arts incorporates Win Chun, Choi Le Fut, the Shaolin, Wushu. It incorporates um, Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. It incorporates Donnie Yen and what he does and Jackie Chan and Jet Li. It incorporates all the Chinese martial arts, including Jeet Kune Do, including my expression. So all of the Chinese martial arts combined is going to destroy what's coming out of Japan when it comes to the martial arts. The, 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 in my opinion, the martial arts, the king of the martial arts comes from China. But in the auto industry, Jap the Jap Japanese, Japan has that down pat. They will destroy any of the auto stuff coming out of China. China, is they're not well known for, at all for making autos. But Japan will destroy China when it comes to autos. I'm going to say that. Being a Chinese person, I'll buy a Japanese car over a Chinese car. So I'm just telling you, it's not just about, oh, you know, everything coming out of China is the bomb because I'm Chinese. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying when it comes to the martial arts, I honestly feel China is the, is the top dog. It has everything. You don't need to go anywhere else. You don't need to go to Japan. You don't need to go to Korea. You don't need to go to Thailand. You don't need to go to the Philippines. You don't need to go anywhere. The, the martial arts, China is the top dog. And it will stay the top dog forever. Because that's where it originated. And that's the, the, it has the most styles. And it just has everything. I mean, Bruce Lee improved upon the Chinese martial arts so much to the point where you can't really improve it anymore because it's already all there. The only thing that you can improve upon it is just basically integrating the firearms and things like that, which America is all about the firearms. You know, America is just gun gung ho, you know, with guns. So um, probably Americans are the elite when it comes to military type of training with guns and all that you know but when it comes to like unarmed combat the Chinese own that you know what I mean like as far as the science of it is concerned um, so Japan I give them credit for the cars Chinese I give credit for the food I give credit for the martial arts um, America I give credit for their, their guns their gun training and their sports. America is like the top dog when it comes to sports. Like violent sports. When it comes to football, when it comes to basketball, when it comes to boxing, when it comes to wrestling. America owns a lot of the sports. Okay? But when it comes to martial art, that's Chinese that's China. You know? Um, Korea is just, you know, they're doing what they can. But they're not going to have such an influence over the world the way America does, the way Japan or what the way China does, and not even Japan. I don't think, I don't think um, Korea is is as strong as a country as Japan. You know, definitely not as strong as a country as China. So their influence in the world is going to be very limited. Like there are cars coming out of Korea. You know, I think. Um, Hyundai is one of them, and that's seen as one of the, the, the lower qual, very low quality brand. Like, it's just like a cheap knockoff of the Honda. So, like, you see it right there before your eyes when it comes to the car industry that Korea, they're just not, they're not even close. So, the martial arts, they're, they're not, they're, they're not, they're not even close. Not even, not even mention, worth even mentioning about when it comes to comparison to China, you know, and that that's that's my opinion, you know what I mean? Um, 
And you see it in the Olympics. Look at like which countries win the most gold medals. This will show you like which country had, is the home to the greatest athletes in the world. Okay, so there's, there's, you know, just do your research and find out that information. And you'll see there's not that many Japanese and Korean people that are winning gold medals. A lot of the gold medals are coming from probably the, 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 the USSR, America, um, China. You know, so, like, we got to take the emotions out of the martial arts and stop getting our feelings hurt about it. Um, and just be real about it. You know, if we're going to compare this than that, then we could just compare it like we compare products and not get so overly emotional about it. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of the stuff in China, I understand why a lot of people talk trash and say, oh, it's impractical, blah, 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 blah. But a lot of it has transformed into more of a meditative practice, more as a form of um, exercise and fitness. It's not just all about practicality because practicality in modern world is talking about guns and that really has nothing to do with punching and kicking you know and um, if you're looking for strict practicality then why are you even practicing the martial arts you should get your gun and just use that martial arts is not just about fighting you know it's about spiritual cultivation it's about fitness development and it's about you know like a fun way of sparring and self-defense and learning learning something that can be useful during certain situations um, and um, Kung Fu is what I will be promoting you know the Chinese martial arts is what I will be promoting I'm not gonna be promoting combat sport um, that's my, might be what America is known for I'm not gonna be promoting Japanese martial arts no matter what style it is I'm not gonna be promoting um, the Korean martial arts I'm not going to be promoting the Filipino martial arts. I'm going to be promoting the Chinese martial arts. I'm, I, you know, mainly I'll be promoting my own thing. This is my business. When I promote my own thing, people come to me, then I make money. So that makes the most sense. Promote my own thing. Okay, if I'm not promoting my own thing, then I'll be promoting Bruce Lee's thing. Because that's where I learned a lot of what I do from Bruce Lee. And a lot of the stuff that he does is something that I connect with. So I'll be promoting Bruce Lee. Um... And if I'm not going to be promoting Bruce Lee, then I'll just promote the entire Chinese martial arts in general. You know, from, from the Shaolin to the Wen Chun to the Choi Li Fu to the Hong Gar to the Praying Mantis to whatever Chinese martial arts are out there. Um, but the, it is, that's, that's what it is. I mean, that's what it boils down to, you know. Um, and that's it. I mean, for Japanese, one another thing, good thing, uh, a good thing I'll say about Japanese. I like, I like Zen. I what, I like how they, you know, Zen is a Japanese word. I like that, you know, what they're representing with the Zen. So I promote Japanese for that, for sure. I love Zen, you know, um, but as I stated with the Japanese martial arts, I don't like it, and. Just think about that fight between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. And that's how I feel about, about Japanese martial arts, about the karate. It's nothing in comparison, you know. Um, but that's my opinion. And hopefully people don't get too emotional about what I had to say.